Hello, welcome from Paxos in Greece, where my mum lives, who's kindly agreed to take part in this educational video for Legs Matter Awareness Week. So what I'm going to be talking about today is the importance of looking after your skin and the things that we can do to uh, improve the health of our skin. And I'll also run through a few of the common conditions that you might get, particularly on your, your legs and feet. So first of all, just a bit about the skin. It's the largest organ of our body. Some people don't realize it's an organ, but it is. And like organs such as heart and kidneys and lungs, uh, your skin can fail. And therefore we need to look after it like we would do our heart or our lungs. Um, what does the skin do? Well, the three main functions are that it uh, is, a, is a barrier. It protects us from wear and tear and from heat and from ultraviolet rays which is particularly important in this lovely sunny climate and um, it also regulates temperature so it we sweat don't we from our skin we have hairs on our skin that come up when it's cold when we're shivering and it traps the warm warm air within it uh, and also it it you know it, it also helps regulate the sort of moisture so as you know if you get into a bath if we didn't have skin that would trap in the moisture would be like a sponge wouldn't we so the skin is very important to protecting that as well so there are certain conditions that we can get that will affect our leg and legs and feet and looking after our skin hopefully will reduce some of those problems one of the common problems that we get is when we have a trouble with our veins and we call it venous disease and my mum has got some venous disease but she's been a very concordant patient and is wearing hosiery and that will be another session which i'm sure that you will get uh, this week but venous disease or problems with our veins can cause swelling in our legs particularly around our, our ankles and that can cause uh, problems with our skin such as the, the skin can become tight uh, more risk of infection but, but also can also become quite dry as well. So we need to manage that fluid. And if you have got oedema, so it's been there for more than three months, doesn't resolve on elevation. So when you go to bed overnight, it's still there in the morning. Uh, I would advise you to just get some advice from your GP because you probably need some tests and maybe some, um, some treatment for that. Another thing that can happen is you can get some staining of your skin. So there is some slight staining on my mum's skin. And that again is due to the problems with the veins. And that can cause the skin to become dry and itchy. Sometimes you get patches of, of eczema as well. Sometimes it might just be a little patch that's itchy, but sometimes it can affect the whole of the lower leg and can become quite inflamed. Uh, and weep sometimes and if you get to that stage you certainly need to be seeking some advice from your GP about that as we get older the skin barrier so that that top layer the stratum corneum does start to thin and we are more more susceptible to problems when that happens and skin can dry out it's something called xerosis it's very common in older people and the trouble is is when your skin gets dry it gets itchy and when you itch it or you scratch it you can cause trauma and that can lead to infections of your skin if you do get an inf infection in your skin um, and it starts to spread it's hot and painful uh, i do urge you to seek some advice from your G gp you probably need some some treatment for that other problems of the skin you can get fungal infections so again between the toes you need to be having a look to see if there's any problems there quite common in the nail beds um, but people do get patches of fungal infection as well so again if you've got something that's troubling you that's not resolving within a week or so you must seek some advice for that uh, you possibly need some treatment so these are all sort of problems associated with the veins, really, uh, the swelling and the dry skin, the itch, etc. Uh, but generally, even if you haven't got problems with your veins, it's really important that you look after your skin to prevent other problems. 
we're all a bit clumsy i'm particularly clumsy and if you your skin as you get older that gets thinner and you bash it on a chair or a car door it, you know th these these are called skin tears um and you're more susceptible for skin tears if your skin isn't healthy so that's again another another thing that you need to think about um other skin problems uh particularly if you have diabetes is problems with the foot or the heel you need to be making sure that if you're not very mobile that you're not you haven't got a lot of pressure with your heels uh, you just need to check that your heels aren't getting sore so again seek some advice if you think you have that problem so it i'd really urge you to check your skin regularly make it your routine each day you know have a look if you can't see yourself very easily ask one of your family members or a friend to check your legs for you so you're looking for dry skin for swelling in your legs um, are there any wounds if you did have that skin tear i would expect that you know that that healing should be taking place within a couple of weeks if it's still there uh still got an open wound on your leg after a couple of weeks you should be seeking help uh, have a look between your toes is there any problems going on there are there any splits in the skin have you got a fungal infection what are the nails looking like you know again go to the right people see a, a podiatrist a chiropodist or, or or your practice nurse if you if you're concerned about anything so actually skincare is pretty simple um all i would say is that when you are washing your legs the main thing i think you should be avoiding using anything that's perfumed your ph of your skin that acid alkaline balance needs to be right and if you're using and i know you love them i love them but these perfumed type of shower gels or, or bath gels they're not very good for your skin so what i would urge you to do is to use a simple emollient you can pick it up in a pharmacy and use that as a soap subst substitute instead so have your shower have your bath and use that gently massage your skin with it avoid rubbing too hard on your skin particularly if you're older and your skin is thinner uh, get between your toes some people who have a lot of swelling might have some folds around their ankles um, uh, or, or um, und, under, under your ankle bones here again if you've got any creases or any folds get in there and give it a good clean because that's where bacteria and fung fungus can can sort of uh, breed really so make sure you you clean between the toes any creases in your skin and just gently massage your legs um, without rubbing too harshly when it comes to drying again patch your, your your skin dry don't rub it too harshly and again don't forget to to dry between your toes as well and then you need to be using a leave-on emollient um, there's there's one here that i have um, that this is this was bought here in greece um, but it's just a bland emollient now when you buy an emollient if you do buy it or you're, you're asking your GP to prescribe it for you they sometimes will do that if you have a skin condition um, routinely they would you know you'd be expected to buy an emollient yourself you can get that from any pharmacy and emollients tend to come as lotions creams or ointments really? and the one I would recommend really if your skin isn't too dry and scaly is to use uh, an emollient cream it's quite nice it's soft uh, and it would would go onto your skin quite well it's not too greasy and whenever you apply an emollient you are massaging the the emollient into the leg not rubbing so you're soothing the leg and when you're rubbing follow the, the way the hair flows so I would say sort of downwards if you're rubbing up what you're you're doing is you're disrupting that sort of hair follicle and you can cause some inflammation of the the, the hair follicle and you can get some sort of sort of sore spots so I, I tend to put it in in my hands this would be you or a carer or a family member and just gently smooth the cream on all over including the heel because this is where you get a lot of cracks 
very common on the foot they're called fissures and you would just massage that gently in it's really nice it's like having a sort of pedicure is it good mum okay so you rub that all over the toes and i would avoid putting the emollient between the toes that sometimes can sort of harbor fungal in fact it gets a bit sort of soggy in there uh, you should have dried that that um, out and then just follow as i said finish by rubbing the leg the following the way the hair lies okay and i would suggest that you try and put on an emollient twice a day morning and and evening and then we would repeat on the other leg as well if you have a lot of scales very dry skin and sometimes when you have a problem with your veins you get this condition called hyperkeratosis and they are sort of like little scaly plaques commonly you'll find them around the ankle maybe on the foot here um, they are a little bit stubborn and I would suggest then that you use an emollient ointment it's greasier and massage that in and then gradually as you use a flannel to cleanse your skin you rub your skin in circular motions those plaques do start to come off so an ointment for very dry skin or when you have maybe cracks on your feet or your heels um, but otherwise I'd probably go for a cream the lotion sometimes is a bit light it's great for sort of your face and uh, but a, a cream probably is is better for you so as I said use that twice a day and that will really keep your skin supple um, and it will reduce the sort of the risks of of some of those skin conditions um, so in addition to that avoid real exposure to heat so sitting in front of a fire too closely is bad for your skin and um, sitting in the sunshine for too long i mean we all should be using uh, sun cream anyway but even with a sun cream you shouldn't be exposing your skin for too long um, and also things like hydration really important not just for hot weather but we should be drinking adequate amounts of fluid that's really good for our skin and being well nourished as well so you know the usual well-balanced diet with vitamins and minerals which will keep your, your skin nice and healthy as well so that's it really um, it's should it's no more complicated than that so just to recap just be mindful of some of those conditions we know that as we get older our skin can start to thin and we're more susceptible to picking up problems you get more problems if you have problems with your veins so we, you need to be seeking some advice about that if your legs don't look right but just keeping your skin well cleansed having a an inspection of your skin regularly to make sure that there's nothing going on that you know is not right and daily emollients and then your legs will be beautiful forever so I hope you enjoyed this video and I have got some questions and answers after this uh, and um, I'll welcome those and thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye bye.